Hi and welcome to Cranmore here in East Somerset. It's the steam gala today. It's the 50th anniversary of the East Somerset Railway, the Heritage Line. And so there's a big celebration all this weekend and so many steam trains running. I'm having an absolute whale of a time here. I've been riding on the train and taking so much footage. And I'm going to show you some of that and tell you a little bit about the East Somerset Railway as well. So enjoy, you can probably hear all the whistles around me. There's just so much going on. Absolutely brilliant day. What a lovely afternoon. Just having an ice cream before boarding my second train of the day, heading towards Mendip Vale, which is where the train terminates and comes back again. It's just a couple of miles in each direction. It's about 32 minutes ride in total. Absolutely lovely. I'll take you on board the train now. <laughs> there we go, I'm on the train, about to depart. And we're just leaving Cranmore to go out to Mendip Vale. Leaving Cranmore Station, we pass the sidings and the engine sheds. You can actually have a look around the engine sheds and I'll show you that a little bit later in the video. But we pass all that and then we meander through the Mendips. While you sit back and enjoy the journey, let me just tell you a little bit about the history of the East Somerset Railway. It originally opened in 1858 and it's a Brunel Railway. Isambard Kingdom Brunel was a surveyor and it originally ran from Witham, which is a village nearby. The line was later extended to Wells, where it joined the Strawberry Line. Sadly, the railway closed in 1964 to passengers and for the next few years it was used to carry freight, mostly stones from nearby quarries and also bitumen, which is used in tarmac. After the freight train ceased, the line became largely disused until in 1967, the very talented wildlife artist, the late David Shepherd, bought two steam locomotives from British Rail. He needed somewhere to store them, so he acquired the East Somerset Railway. And he was the driving force behind its reopening in August 1974. We're just going to see the engine turning around. Hopefully get a good shot. Every age group really enjoyed this trip and it was lovely to gather at the end of the train to watch the double-headed engines turn around. One mini-vlogger, a young lad, asked the guard a question. Um, I thought we were having one at each end, but the fireman thinks we might have, we might be double heading away, but... <laughs> we'll head down to the other end of the train in a minute to watch the locomotive attach, but let's just spend a little moment here enjoying this wonderful scenery and the sound of steam. Let's take a walk alongside the train now. We'll go down the other end and watch the steam engine attaching down there. There's going to be one each end. And let me know in the comments, do you love steam engines? Do you love visiting heritage railways? 
just tell me in the comments, I'd love to hear. Back on the train now, heading back towards Cranmore. I'm absolutely loving this day out. It's just, it's just so much to enjoy on the railway and watching the trains, photographing the trains, photographing, photographing the trains even. It's just really, really lovely. Good fun for all the family as well. I've never really been a train enthusiast, if I'm honest, but I think I'm getting a bug for it. I'm really, really enjoying everything to do with the two trains. A ticket to ride the trains is valid all day, so you could just spend the whole day on the trains if you wanted to, but there's so much else to do at the station and I'm going to show you some of that when we get there. This made me chuckle. Um, this is an old Victorian urinal and right next to it, there's an office called the Movements Supervisor. Now we're back at the station. I'm just gonna let you enjoy the sights and sounds of the day and let you soak up the atmosphere of the gala. And then we're gonna have a look at some other things that were on offer. Like you could go into the signal box, you could drive a steam engine and you can visit the engine sheds. So I'm gonna show you all of that. But first of all, let's just stick around the station and enjoy some of the sights and sounds. Completed in 2019, the Lady of Legend is a GWR same class loco. And she is a faithful recreation of the Great Western Edwardian elegance. 2999 is the star at the anniversary gala this year courtesy of the Didcot Railway Centre. I believe that she was built using parts from other locomotives. Her wheels are absolutely massive and I think that they're as large as the wheels on the Flying Scotsman and they're taller than most people. In between journeys when she was at the station, you could climb up onto the footplate and experience what it's like up there. And oh my goodness, I was just not expecting it to be so hot. It was really, really toasty up there. Oh, I really like miniature railways and this one. It's really lovely. This WH Smith hut was originally at Salisbury Station, but now it's home to the Cranmore Book Nook. Oh, there's so much to look at here. I don't know where to look first, really. This is a lovely recreation of a waiting room and office area. At the David Shepherd Discovery Centre, you can find out more about the man himself who gave a new lease of life to this line. And you can also look at his model railway. I've never been in a signal box before, so I was quite fascinated to go in this one. It was built in about 1904, and there's currently a restoration project going on to return the signal box back to full working order. I'm just going to show you where you can do some shopping that's on the platform and where you can get some food and drink and then we're going to take a walk along the sidings out towards the engine sheds i'll show you where you can pay 10 pound to drive a steam train and also i'll take you out to where they're doing lots of restoration work in the engine sheds This looks such fun, driving the steam engine. There was a queue of people waiting to do it. <laughs> Walk 
walking through the entrance sheds was really interesting as well. It was really lovely to see the things being restored. And the entrance sheds are built on a Victorian design. And there was a dining carriage here having restoration. Really, really interesting to see. And you can go over to where they're doing maintenance and restoration of engines as well. And there's a viewing platform there and it tells you all about what's being done. Oh, reluctantly, it's time for me to leave this amazing heritage railway. I caught the bus in from Froome Railway Station. It was a, a complimentary bus. And so the last one goes back at four o'clock, so I'm going to get that. But I've had just the most amazing day. I've thoroughly enjoyed photographing the trains and riding on them. It's been absolutely beautiful. It's a perfect spring day off. I hope if you come out to the East Somerset Railway, if you've never been before, that you will enjoy it as much as I've enjoyed it today. Back on the platform now, I just want to say thanks so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed it. And it was lovely to meet a subscriber today, Martin. Hello, if you're watching, it was really lovely to meet you. So don't forget to check out my other videos from around the southwest of England. I do loads of videos. I have, I think, nearing 200 now. So there's plenty to choose from, all sorts of videos from around the southwest of England. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I'll see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe so you know when I put a new video out. Bye for now!